kind of all the important news in the world of Blizzard Entertainment, you can always catch old episodes at nexuspodcast.com, which is available on all the major platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, etc. Mm-hmm. And follow the conversation through the week at hashtag Nexus Podcast on Twitter. Or Instagram. Or Instagram, yeah. yeah. Uh, and old video episodes are up on youtube.com slash DJ Tyrant and check out our Facebook group, search Nexus podcast. Yep. Hi. Hi. Episode 20. Episode 20. It is. It is. We're recording technically on December 9th. An hour left. (laughs) An hour left on the West coast here. Um, but yeah, let's just get, get into it this week in geek. Um, for for me, uh, this should surprise probably no one but you played zero warcraft Warcraft. i yeah. played more world of warcraft <laughs> you played warcraft 3 that's what you played right oh yeah <laughs> i don't even have that installed oh uh i got through week two of the covenant quests and got myself up to um renown six which mm. was good um the curian storyline is really good um in the the first like storyline you unlock is very interesting um, we could see more of Bastion Uther. One? This is Bastion, okay. yeah. We finally get introduced to Uther. It's a little, it's a little weird because, um, if you're playing pretty actively, you've probably already completed the dungeon that's attributed to the storyline. Yeah. So you, your character knows about the person that you need to go kill, but you see them oh. and meet them through the storyline through the dungeon. No, but you meet them through the storyline. Oh. Well, well, you meet them in the dungeon and kill them in the dungeon. Before you meet before them in the storyline. Before you meet them in the storyline, if That's, you do it that way. So it's, yeah. cool. it's a little funny. It's a little out of order than now, do you traditionally have, you do in WoW. Do you have to go to the... Like, in the storyline, do you go to the dungeon before like is there a quest that gets you to the dungeon there's a quest that gets you to the dungeon oh, okay yeah. yeah that's just a continuity it's issue. just kind of funny okay that is funny what else um yeah <laughs> you have a whole paragraph <laughs> I know. There. uh did both Torghast uh wings that Ooh. were open and complete the initial legendary quest line i haven't crafted legendary yet I'm do you still, have the mats for it uh no i don't I have to go buy them off the auction house. Oh, no. do you have enough gold for that? I, I'm pretty sure I do. I have like 210,000 gold mm-hmm. from selling two BOEs the first week. So Hopefully. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have enough. But I also haven't looked at the prices, so I have no clue uh, what they are right now. Um, think optimistic. I only completed four of the eight mythics, but um, I also... Only four? I know, only four. God, Jimmy. Uh, but I, Let me do I targeted them where I had a list that had weapon drops only for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was able to get one weapon drop. Oh, good. So I was happy, <laughs> happy with that. Um, and this week, we're going to be pushing for Mythic Plus. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, I tried to get into a mythic yesterday, and none of the groups, like, invited me. It was sad. Because there's a group finder for mythics. Yeah. So you can just get connected with random people. Uh-huh. It, and they all declined me or oh, got wait, filled so you, before I got in. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. They didn't decline you. They just yeah. got filled. Yeah. Totally yeah. fine. Oh, yeah. That's really depressing otherwise. Is it is it like they pick like, like your character? No, your they're, they're, so when you when you list something like that, mm-hmm. you get a list of all these people applying to be a part of that group. Okay. They're going to take whoever's the highest item level. Oh, okay. So like usually. when they see like DJ Tyrant, it would say like an item level number next yeah. to it. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah, that makes sense. Which gives you a, a general idea of how mm-hmm. how they're going to do. So I'll be like on the top of the list. Is that yes, what exactly. Perfect. If we sort from lowest to highest. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, <laughs> um, and potentially finding um, a raiding guild this week. My best friend Matt, who came back for Shadowlands, oh, man. he found a guild who raids Friday, Saturday, Sunday for two hours each night. West Coast time? Well, uh, West Coast <gasps> late, starting Ooh. at 9 p.m., which is like perfect timing for me. It's perfect. For so you. maybe we'll see. We'll see Fingers if they're they're good because I want to definitely be pushing for ahead of the curve and heroic uh-huh. stuff. Um, that's generally how I've been since Legion, um, as far as progression. So hopefully, and it's been interesting watching the commentary come out in the community about the the raid because I think people were expected to be a little easier than it actually is. The 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 dungeons. Yeah. The raiding? Well, okay. the new raid that came out yesterday. Oh yeah yeah. So. But people thought it'd yeah. be easier. Yeah, people thought it would be pretty easy, but I don't think people realized that the the 
effect of how Blizzard is rolling out the gearing this time around. It's a lot more of a slow burn, but mm -hmm. you're also getting gear that you're going to keep and use. Yeah. It's not going to be, you're not going to find the same piece of gear and it's going to get tightened for it. And you're like, well, that other piece is obsolete after a week or whatever. Yeah, that's been always like a problem. Yeah. Like you don't get attached to anything anymore. Yeah. But now I think that's going to be much better in this expansion. Hopefully, yeah. Because yeah. if people always say like, oh, it's too easy, then it's like, well, you make it harder. That's like, you really can't get mad. At <laughs> yeah, easy. there's there's a good balance that they have to do. That's good. Um, also, tangent, tangently, how do you Tan spell it? Tangently? Tangent. There, the tangently is not a word. On a different tangent. On Never. a different tangent. <laughs> related to gaming. Um, I finally got um, my Ateo order, which I ordered back in September. If you're not um, familiar with what Ateo is, they're a gaming-focused clothing brand uh, by these two women in L.A. And it's all made here in L.A. And I did get it. So I got my, my hoodie. And this hoodie is huge. It's Huge. It's so huge. Like, like, look, it's designed so that you can have your headphones on. Your headphones aren't even that big. You could have the cat have headphones on and it would still fit. Yeah. Like. I mean, this thing is like, super roomy and super comfy. Compared to, like, my hoodie to your hoodie. And Put your there's hoodie on. no... Yeah, so, so it's a comparison <laughs> here. Like, cover your face. It literally goes past your nose. Mine barely yeah. goes over, like, to my eyes. And there's no, like... <laughs> you look so funny on camera. I look like you have wings. <laughs> I know. Okay. And there's no, like... It doesn't feel like I'm pulling the fabric here. It's, On your it's got enough room. Yeah. Yeah. It has enough for room everything. for the back. So it's everything. really cool. Yeah. No, it's really cool design. And God, that hood. It's so distracting. It's, like, it's, it's kind of it ridiculous. Back you now yeah. Like a effort. But I also got their their sitters, which are kind of sweats. With the same, you sit in same them. Because <laughs> you sit in them. They're so comfy. Like the hype is real for these things. Are they joggers? Like do they cinch um, at the feet or the ankle? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But now you bought stuff. So I bought some back in September, um, mm -hmm. basically because they blew up um, mm -hmm. on social media because mm -hmm. another brand was basically copying this design no. for another esports team. No. I'm not going to say who, but... Oh, we got to talk about that later. Yeah. I didn't know that. But yeah, that, that, uh, that did occur and they kind of blew up. I, I'd actually known about them for a couple of years, but I was like, mm -hmm. no way are they worth the price that they are. I mean, it's it's, it's really a little pricey. Quality. Um, it's like eighty eight bucks for the, you know, you're the hoodie. Sixty dollars for any other yeah. hoodie on Jinx, which are kind of okay. Ooh, the things are really nice. Yeah, like the little. But no, there's tie just, things there's just... a lot of little things that are just really well done. Um, and also, um, I've won a lot of their trivia <laughs> on Instagram. <gasps> um, you told me about that. If you go to Ateo underscore is all their social media handles. A T E Y O. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're keeping hidden what Ateo stands for. We're all trying to guess it on their Discord community, what it stands for, but we don't know. Mm. I'm so, not smart enough to figure yeah. it out. No, it's a lot of letters to try to figure out, like, what it's an acronym to. Oh, it's an acronym? We do know that for I th sure? I, th I believe so. Okay. I'm sure they'll correct like me if name. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're, just, they're an independent business in LA, and they blew up on social media. I mean, people like Felicia Day retweeted their story about this brand kind of copying their their, their style, design. design yeah um so now you and it kind of snowballed this from there in september yes it's now december it is now december and it just came in yes because this is a pre-order mm -hmm. for a new size oh, okay. they hadn't had this size before that's true because you have the plus size yeah. for it and then now their trivias are on instagram instagram thursday nights or thursday evenings at 4 p.m pacific okay I need to follow them because you've been telling me about them and I keep missing them. And then I think you do well. You'll text me and be like, oh, I just want another thing. And I'm like, yeah. Let's see. So what is it called? Ateo? Ateo. A-T-E-Y-O. Underscore. Okay. You had them there. Now you're looking at their stories. I am. I have not followed them. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna follow. I'm going to do notifications because that is how I will actually know when they're actually doing stuff. When they do stories. Now, is it on post or on their stories? It's on uh, live. So only on live? Yeah. Okay. So all notifications on live. Okay. I will give it a try. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And these are work. super comfy. I was, I was definitely skeptical. Uh -huh. I was like, for this price, it better be really I'm good. checking you out here. Yeah. Okay. So you got like a fleece lining, good seams, good zipper, the cords nice. Oh, and the mm. sitters have zipped pockets. 
Ooh, so you're not gonna lose your keys yeah. and stuff. That's smart. which is pretty interesting. That is really nice. Um, very cool. But they they say they said or say in their kind of marketing description mm-hmm. stuff is that they consulted with a lot of esports people, and I know I've seen a lot of esports people wearing their stuff, like Brian Kibler. Uh, we all really love likes comfy stuff. clothes. And yeah, as gamers, we all love comfy super clothes. comfy especially clothes. Especially now, pandemic clothes um, are like... Yeah, especially <laughs> with working from home. Com- <laughs> There's no dress code Yeah, it's for true. Me. <laughs> as long as you look somewhat yeah. put together and wear clothing, you're fine. Well, and I guess for you, it's just the top. Oh, totally. Top yeah, up. <laughs> 100%. I'm wearing, I wore pajama yeah. pants every time, every class. It was great. But yeah, Shadowlands. It's been a lot of Shadowlands for me. Um it's been nice because I've been able to take it relatively easy. I don't feel like I'm putting Rushing. a whole lot of time into WoW. Well, I mean, last week compared to the first <laughs> week. The first week I put probably 50 hours into the game. Okay. Last week I maybe put in 10 hours. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I, I, you I'm feel re- satisfied I want, The thing the I want to do going forward is mm-hmm. I want to get my weekly stuff done early on in the week mm-hmm. so I can be kind of done with my main and then go level up my alts. Now, when you say weekly stuff, is that the is that like the um, objective type of thing? Yeah. That just came out, which I'll we'll talk yeah. about later because I'm not going to dive into that right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Because that makes a lot more sense because I like how it's kind of organized that way. Totally. Yeah. No, it's, it's really <laughs> good. I really appreciate what Blizzard's done with the Shadowlands on that. Uh, okay, so for my week in Geek, it's very, very different. I played some Shadowlands today. <laughs> for Yay. like two hours, maybe? Yeah, like an hour or two, and then I had to go do something. So I played today. Uh, I got to level 52. That's a thing. Um but I think my favorite thing is, like, at first I was like, oh, my God, I'll play, like, get through some storyline before we do the podcast, but... I just forgot how fun it is to see like a whole new zone and like Bastion is pretty. It is so pretty. Like I'm like literally looking into a new area. Like uh, I got to like the battleground area, whatever it was. I had to go train to prove myself. And then I got my ass handed to me by this one thing. And they're like, Oh, that's a sad lesson to learn. Like, and I was shocked that that happened. Um, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember the guy's name. Um, but like I was just looking at all the textures, like the the the, the ribbons and the the curtains that are dangling and the grass and like there is rain or shimmery rain that falls in Bastion, like like sparkles. The water sparkles. The water drops into the puddle of water sparkles, like a little golden ring. Like oh, it's pretty. And then um, there's even like pollen. Like little floating pollen. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember, like um, when we went through the drive-through event for Stranger Things, they had like the the fake snow that like oh, looks like yeah. the whatever the underground. Um, like they even have pretty pollen in this area. They did. Yeah, yeah. they do. They do here. And then what's even more fun? <laughs> uh, is it just me? But like, I like to jump off the edges of all the places I go to. Yeah. Okay. I mean. <laughs> It's unfair to ask me that because I can jump off any edge and it's zero problem. Oh, yeah, man, I'm, a, I'm a demon hunter. <laughs> uh, but like in Orbos, I'm like, oh, here's an edge. I'm going to see if I can run off edge run off. Have you done that yet? Uh, No. It's fun. Okay. And like what's really cool is like there's a part in Bastion where there's like a waterfall feature. There's a bridge and you like. Whoa. I mean, there's a part you have to jump into and it gets the maw. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that. I don't care okay. about that. But, like, literally, I will just run to the edge of, like, the the planet or the island or wherever on and just, like, run off and see what happens. Like, they catch you, of course. Like, I was, like, the worst case, I had to run back to my corpse. Um, but, like, you can see, like, the waterfall, like, fall off the island. It's super, super pretty. Um, it was even part where I was, like, I could totally take a screenshot if I, like, jump off at the right time. And it's just, it's gorgeous. Um, so I've been really loving, like, the whole zone aesthetic of the textures and the lighting like even the ground is shiny in bastion like i just like want that like reflective on a case or something it's, like that it's very shiny it's so shiny um so that's like my 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 favorite thing right now just like looking at everything um also i have a complaint and this is a very serious <sighs> complaint why can i not sit in the chairs in bastion hmm, that's a good question they have Horde people there. They have like the the spirits and like that. They can sit in the chairs and the benches. The owl can people can sit in the chairs and benches. But why can't I sit in the chairs and benches? 
I want I want my character to sit in the chairs. Maybe, maybe you need to ascend first. I don't know. <sighs> no, I want to sit in the chairs. <laughs> If I'm going to AFK, I want to sit in a chair in game before I go. Like, <laughs> and I'm getting like flashbacks to Draenor because I remember that was a thing. I'm like, oh, these chairs look really cool. I want to sit in this chair when I go AFK. Nope, I could jump on top of it and maybe pretend to kneel down on it. But yeah, it's exactly, that it's works. Not, no, no, it's not works. No, nope. it works. Nope. Uh, so that's one thing I noticed. Also, the grass is really tall there. Like, I get I'm not a Kyrian. Is that the phrase? But yeah. It's really tall. Like, they should have, like, lawnmowers or something. Like, something. I don't know. It's, it's like, it's heaven, right? Technically? Kind of, yeah. Like, I don't know. Okay. Because, like, I was also hunting the, the little deer-looking things, the antlers. I forget what they're called. I had to collect their pelts. And uh, I'm like, I couldn't even see one of them because the grass was so tall. I'm like, you're munching on the grass. Why are you not munching more? Like, <laughs> um... But no, these are these are fun like visual things. I'm like eating up. Oh yeah. Um, another geeky thing I did was Animal Crossing, where I did more gardening. Uh, I need to prune my flowers. It is a problem. Have you been to my island recently? I haven't. It's I haven't a lot been on Animal Crossing since my birthday. Wow. Yeah. I terrible. hope Bob's not gone. That's oh, you I, had Bob. I have Bob. Mm, I still have Bob. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I still have him. I don't think they leave like they did in the old games. Where they actually send you a letter, like, peace out, I'm gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, they actually stay until they ask you, like, do you think I should leave? Um, but I had to prune my flowers. I did a little bit of that. And it's going to take a long, long time. Um, I was almost even tempted to just, like, reset the island. <laughs> but that's like, oh no, it's okay. I can I can so do this. Uh, let's see. And then another, let's see. Um, one other showing gamery. Where did I put my notes there? Oh, I want snow. <laughs> I'm reading that completely wrong. You're so confused. I, in my own notes. I want snow. Animal Crossing still has not had snow yet. Like, it's winter, technically. I want snow. It's December. It hasn't happened yet. I see all the cool, like, videos and, like, clips of, like, people, you know, making snowmen. I can't do it. Why? I don't know. Nintendo. Yeah, I don't know. Um, And then on Sunday, I played six hours again of D&D for the Legions of Valor. And that was fun. Um, but this whole week, I basically, since I played so much Shadowlands, like so much Shadowlands, I'm shaking my head. Um, I was watching New Girl on Netflix. There's like seven seasons. I've been wanting to watch the show, so I started watching it. It is funny. Um, and I've been knitting. I knit a glove. A fingerless glove. So I've been knitting like an old lady. And I made a glove in four days, which is really good. And I had a second one. And eventually, I will probably play more Shadowlands because I actually got sucked into it, and I, I want to see the so other good. worlds. Of you it. got, oh, you just yeah. need to get to Ardenweald. Ardenweald is the third zone you go to. Describe it's it. The again. Druid zone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've seen spoilers, and like I need to play the game now because I want to see all the videos of people talking about it, and I don't want to get completely spoiled, even though I've already had a few. Yeah. So I, I know there's some that. dragons. There um, are dragons, or a dragon. But, um, yeah, I definitely need to get back to the game. And now that I finished a glove, I think I can chill out for a bit. Like, there you go. I got my knitting out of me. So back now to um, news, Yeah, right? news. Unsurprisingly, <laughs> we're going to be starting with World of Warcraft again because that's, mm -hmm. that's the big news um, with Blizzard. And the big one is that Blizzard released some sales numbers for Shadowlands. Mm -hmm. And they absolutely crushed it with Shadowlands. 3.7 million copies sold in the first 24 hours, which is a record, according to Activision Blizzard, as the fastest selling PC game, which is beating out the previous record holder of another Activision Blizzard game, Diablo 3, which had 3.5 million copies sold. So, Blizzard is definitely going in the right direction with World of Warcraft, at least initially here with Shadowlands. They sold enough people on them fixing the problems with BFA and what kind of pushed people away from, from playing Battle for Azeroth and I guess, them in yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I think especially now, like with people being at home, people have had a lot more time to invest in the game. Like I know personally, I probably wouldn't have, well, I probably would have jumped in right when the game came out, but now that I've had time, I was playing a lot of WoW before the game released because I was at home and I wasn't going places. So I think that definitely helps. Um, having online, like downloading 
is so nice. You don't have to go to a store or anything like that or have to buy a collector's edition. Um, But yeah, it is shocking to hear them beat Diablo 3. But then I've also heard like it beat all the other games too. So it's it's kind of like I was thinking about it, how I always kind of felt insecure of like, oh, I play World of Warcraft, but like none of my students knew what that was. Mm -hmm. But then it's comforting to know that like, this wow is still up there. Like it's still doing really, really good. It's still kicking butt. Yeah. yeah. Like for us older <laughs> people, it's still really oh, popular. Oh yeah, for so sure. I don't feel too like old and alone. <laughs> yeah, there, there were a couple other things in the press release that they mentioned, which I thought was really interesting. That players have spent more time in Azeroth year to date than the same period of any of the last ten years. Which is dating back to Wrath of the Lich King, the end of Wrath of the Lich King. So that means there's a lot of people playing WoW what is, right now. What does that mean? Okay, spent more time in Azeroth year to date. So more hours put in this year? Yeah. So like if I were to do slash play for a year, this is the most I've put in for the past decade. Does that make sense? No, that's not what it means. What does it mean? It's a cool factoid, but, like, I'm trying to understand that. More time in Azeroth, year to date. So, this year, 2020. Yes. Than any other period, basically, they're compared to every other year in the past 10 years. Oh, so, like, you've played more WoW this year than you've had The players entire, as a whole. As a whole. So, like, if you're, like, like one person. Yeah. The statistic is that you've played more this 2020. Yeah. It's been 2020. Yeah. This is one perk of 2020, <laughs> We spent more time in Azeroth than in the real life. Yeah. In, in addition, total player time in the game this year to date has doubled nearly, uh, doubled compared to the same period last year. Yeah. So obviously engagement is significantly higher. I played a ton over the summer. Yeah. Yeah. That absolutely, I would definitely believe that. And I think especially the, um, with like even technology, computer wise, like it doesn't take a huge machine to play well. Like I could play on my laptop, like that kind of blows my mind. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those are all things doing in favor for it, which is nice. For it's sure. Here. Yeah. It, wow, it's not dying. No, it is not. And it's surely not because season one started this Ooh. week. Uh, Blizzard did put out the survival guide, which is a, what, three minute primer on it's everything like, you kind of need to know. Yeah, two minutes, 30 seconds. If you, if you want to know the, the basics, it's a good video to check out. But basically. There's a lot. There's a lot. Uh Castle Nathria is the first uh, first raid that is available now, is live now on both the U.S. and European realms. Uh, normal and heroic difficulties are available. Mythic keystones are available now. And a new uh, affix uh, called Prideful at plus 10. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun to play around with. And okay. I've definitely seen the... Okay. Finish your thought. I want to ask a question. <laughs> No, just ask your question. What is... Okay, I, I saw the survival guide, and we actually talked about this before we recorded doing our notes. What is an affix? An affix? So it's affix. it's a another challenge added to Mythic Dungeons on top of the already... Um, difficulty. Difficulty of the key adding damage and health to everything in the dungeon. So it's something like... It's like a challenge level almost. Basically, so it's like, say... I forget what it was called, but in Legion, at least, there was one where um, if you killed an enemy, like killed a, a trash mob, it would buff the health of all the other trash mobs around it in a radius. Oh, wow. So it made it so that you would want to evenly down the health of everyone yeah. as quickly as possible and basically try to kill them all at once. Wow. So this one is... Basically, there's a mini moss that spawns every 20% of trash that you clear. Um, and killing that mini moss gives you a huge buff to speed and damage. And that's going to be really interesting to see, especially in... Um, oh, I can't think of it. The, the Mythic Dungeon Tournament thing that Blizzard runs. Um. To see how those... Um, people take advantage of this and how they game it out um mythic dungeon invitational okay don't they do that blizzcon they do yeah um okay so then now okay here's the thing prideful do we know the other affixes in the future uh they're all the same ones from battle for azra oh because i thought it'd be like the seven deadly sins type of thing yeah okay 
That's kind of neat. For sure. Um, and yeah, the mythic keystones we talked about. World bosses are available. I killed my first one. Didn't get any loot. Whatever. It is what it is. It's fine. <laughs> it's just um, like what the second week this game's been. Yeah. Uh, PvP season is upon us as well. As well as some brand new mounts for <laughs> PvP. The uh, are you sure they're for PvP? They are for PvP. <laughs> we debated this too. And the gladiator mount is just insane. And I would love to go for that, but I don't think I'll be it's like a able Diablo, to. It's like a Diablo head stuck on a dragon. Yeah, it, it really is. It's yeah. very much... Uh, they always try to match the rewards to be themed around the raid that comes out during that. So with Castle Nathria, this makes a lot of sense. What's with the spider? It's... Part of Castle <laughs> Is it like a boss in the thing? I think so. Okay. Yeah. It's just a big old spider with armor and I nobody know yeah. nope, don't want. But yeah. A lot of cool stuff <laughs> coming with uh, th- with all that. Uh, there's also a weekly vault. This is it's, cool. It seems very confusing at first, but it all makes sense when you put it see into it. practice and see it. And they actually have like a good video clip of it. In the survival guide, which I, yeah. was, I had to watch it twice to really get the idea. Yeah. So instead of the traditional um, mythic, uh, weekly mythic chest you get um, for clearing a mythic plus during the week, um, just giving you a random piece of gear and you ending up with 15 bracers after three months. Mm-hmm. Um, as you fulfill the requirements for each of these kind of tiers, there's one for raiding mythics. Uh, mythic dungeons and for pvp so at most you can have nine options available to you really so yeah nine, nine different gear options and they will um scale to the level of what you completed for that that option okay so i just appreciate that it's on like an actual chart yeah like it's like a menu ui thing yeah it kind of reminds of like animal crossing we have like no it's nice because it gives you stuff to go for every week it's almost like a bulletin board in well mm-hmm. yeah I it really is that. okay and it's also it's also on this really cool like wall in oribos which is kind of pretty so it's like okay it's yeah i actually haven't looked at it in game yet i have to go check that out well did it, it just came out right it just came like out yesterday? like two days ago yeah tuesday yeah exactly um but or tuesday was yesterday that is <laughs> uh but also um coming next week will be mythic Rating for uh, Castle Nothria and Raid Finder Wing, Wing 1. Um, so if you're looking for LFR stuff, that is coming out next week. Uh, December 15th, Raid Finder Wing 2 will be January 5th. Raid Finder Wing 3 will be January 19th. And Raid Finder Wing 4 is February 2nd. Say that five times fast. I know. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it so four times fast. This, this falls in line with how LFR has been for ever since LFR has been out, basically. Yeah. I remember this is one of the things that people were complaining about, was like, will this go during the holiday season because the game got delayed? And yeah. It, yeah, it will. 20, yeah. 2020. 2020, you're not going <laughs> anywhere, right? We're all staying yeah, home? Pretty yeah, pretty much. That's what we'll be doing. Yeah, and the, um, uh, oh, the one thing you wanted to see was... Um, did I? Yes, you told me you wanted to see this. Okay. This is the... So this is all the bosses here, and we're not showing Blizzard it right news. now, but in Blizzard News... But uh, there is the um, oh, armor set. Yeah, I did want to see this. Click so, it. Can you make it bigger? No, I can't. Can't do like image a new tab? There we go. Cause I see. Okay. So we got... I what? think it's cloth on the right, uh, leather, yeah. mail, and then plate. That's not mail in the middle. Cloth is in the middle. No, cloth is on the right. That looks like leather. It has a plate doctor mask. Okay. That's kind of cool. I don't know what it is. Okay. So we got the mail. And then now this is for all the Torrens wearing a little feather on his head. That's adorable. Or feather. Flower. Flower. <laughs> it's almost been never <sighs> fine. Um, okay. So it looks like he has, a, he has like a trench coat. Yeah. That's really cool. And then we got the mail with the, the skull and like horns sticking out of it mm-hmm. on its shoulder. Plague Doctor helmet is real. Or helm is really cool. And the, the plate or mail, whatever that one looks like, the paladin looking thing looks really, really cool. I like yeah. the shoulders. No, that's awesome. So this is only for raid? It's only for raid. 
You'll be able to, I think you'll be able to pick it up in LFR. Like next week, right? Uh, next, well, the first four bosses next week, yeah. Okay, so I can wait until next week. Cool. Yeah. I got time. You're not going to get the whole, you're not going to get the whole thing, but. Why not? Are you saying I can't? You literally <laughs> cannot. Blizzard will not let you. Damn. <laughs> now, it says normal difficulty for that one. Is that also, is there going to be like color variations? I think there's going to be, there, there will be color variations for mm. each um, tier. So I'll get the Mythic Plus thingy? Yes. Cool. You're going to be. I'll be the best. You're, you're going to be in our <laughs> event we're going to talk about next, which is the Complexity Limit Race to World First. Oh, go ahead, Jimmy. I don't which know which about. comes out next week. Uh, so <laughs> if you were wondering if we were going to see that, it is going to be happening. We do have uh, Complexity Limit did announce the Race to World First, where they're going to be showing off the raid all next week um, as they try to maintain their crown. As the absolute best raiding team nerds. in w- the world of Warcraft. The best nerds <laughs> to rule them all. Yep. No, this it, is crazy. It'll be interesting because it's, uh, this is the first time they're doing it. Um, I think most of it will be remote. I know that the players will be oh, yeah. at the, what is it called? The GameStop Performance Center in <laughs> Texas. Sorry. <laughs> we have a lot of history with GameStop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so begin now. This is going to be a bubble safe environment. Are they just like living there? I'm assuming they they are. <laughs> it's yeah, gonna like, it's gonna be like real world. Like they just live in a what's it called um, stadium. Yeah. No, they probably have like a hotel. Uh, wow, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. And is they, this on Twitch? Yeah, this is gonna be on Twitch, and they announce their the talent. Um, so I'm excited. I is probably one of my favorite people recently in World of Warcraft. She's super funny on social media and definitely check her out. Definitely check out her TikToks. Um, oh, no. She did the uh, the TikTok meme of, um, I don't I don't know I even know how to explain it. Basically, basically she's like, "Here's what I look like uh, a day after becoming curious. Here's what I look like a week after oh. becoming curious. Here's what I look like a month after becoming curious." When they stand in the mirror in yeah. the bathroom and they like yeah. come back for. A- Outfit change, basically. Yeah, yeah basically. Have you yeah, shared that with me on TikTok? Huh? I have so many TikToks behind that you I, shared with me. I don't know. I but she also did um, last year or earlier this year. I can't remember. She did um, a bunch of TikToks or videos on um, what's it called uh, all all the the cliche BlizzCon attendees, and they were so spot on. And so good. Oh, she had pictures. Yeah. It was like outfits of everyone, yeah. I think. Yeah, I remember those. It was like, oh, the esports fan. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> oh, the fangirl and all oh, this stuff. It was great. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, and probably y- if you follow Wild WoW Stuff on, on Twitter, you probably saw her most recent video, which was a parody of Billie Eilish's bad guy. She for, did that? Yeah, that was her. <gasps> oh, so good. Yeah. So, so it was done instead of bad guy, it was bag guy for the raid or the outdoor boss from Ice Crown that dropped the 34 slot bag that I got three of. You got three and didn't tell I me? I got on my main and two of my alts. Keep this child friendly. <laughs> Keep child friendly. She, it, those of you listening to audio, she is death glaring me right now. Moving on. <laughs> That'll be fun to watch. I'm glad we'll watch it on Twitch beginning oh December 15th. Oh my gosh. Will there be any, like, prizes? I bet there be prizes. There, I don't know when a blue they, mic. they did say there were giveaways. There was yeah, blue microphones blue. was one of them. I'm going to get that WoW one. I think, yeah. The, the WoW one looks really cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're adults. Okay. We are, but um, um, uh, some interesting conversations and thoughts have been had over uh, WowRanks.io came out with a list of statistics uh, pulling from the WoW API to kind of see who is picking what covenants and which classes and which specializations are picking those. Because we're all nerds. Because that was all a... That was kind of the controversy with the whole covenant system was that people would feel pigeonholed into the top performing one. Mm -hmm. And I think for the most part, it's kind of going that way, but... It's, I think it's less. Well, if you had your pool going bad. with your friends, yeah. it's like Final Fantasy. Like Final Fantasy football. 
<laughs> fantasy football, right? Yeah, which, pretty which, much. Which team won? Yeah. Basically, Night Fae did. Uh, Night Fae is looking... It's killing it. Looking like the top one for overall. In the first inning of, of the game being released, <laughs> it's Night Fae. Next week, we'll see he's going to yeah. be running up. And I don't know. Um, and unsurprisingly, yeah. uh, Druids are by far oh, away yes. the class... That is picking Night Fae well, that's all the time. I, it's I totally their mine. aesthetic. Yeah, I was going to send my dream like, there. 100%. I feel like this has very little to do with the performance of the, the, the character the, or the, the uh, class. The uh, class and covenant combo and more about how the aesthetic just is yeah. right on. Well, I think if you were like already... Well, I think if they've been like developing it, I feel like they kind of focused a lot of the perks to be towards specific classes. Mm-hmm. Um, just because in game it makes sense to have druids be more connected to Night Fae and such. Yeah. Um, trees. Yep. And second most popular is Kyrian. Uh, Paladin is number one, which shouldn't be a huge surprise. That's where my Paladin's um, going. The, the short that they came out with obviously focused on Uther and so Paladin's like, oh, well, yes. we gotta follow Uther. If Uther comes here, so will I. Yes. Although, interestingly enough, in the storyline right now, he is kind of the hmm. bad guy. The bad guy? Or bad. Bad. Bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, that's... we'll see how that story plays out. Uh, Kirin is also number two for Demon Hunters, which I selected. So, I'm happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Demon it's... Hunters are basically like Paladins with Bell. Like, <laughs> honestly, the they're going to go kill evil. Like, it makes total sense. They're, like, their whole dedication is to kill evil. Yeah. And then, justice and junk. And then third place is the Void Evatel or Talison to call them, the Bitey Boys. The Bitey Boys, yeah, 100%. <laughs> the the Venthyr. With uh, Warrior. B- Bitey Boys. Warriors, uh, number one, overwhelmingly picking Venthyr and Priest right behind them. That surprised me. The Priest one? A little bit, yeah. Also, well, let's the dig warrior. this a little bit more. It's mostly oh. shadow. Okay, that makes a lot more that sense. That is then. picking it. Yeah. So, I do appreciate that while ranks to ILT really drill down. Extra nerdy details. stats. Yeah, extra nerdy stats. Yep. Um, I am next... disappointed. Oh, there are no color coded charts. There are none. There is no bar graph. There is no chart. I need more visuals next time I go, please. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last one. Uh, last one. Um, <laughs> If you haven't figured it out by now, <laughs> Necrolords uh, <laughs> yeah. and Death Knights are the number one uh, selector of Necrolords. But Necrolords is pretty far behind the other three, um, it does seem. See, this one's surprising. We actually talked about this because I was I thought Demon Hunters would have been like obsessed with Necrolords because it's like, demons, undead, you're going to kill them all. But yeah. then you told me. Demon like, Hunters are dead last. Yeah. Because it's like, what, not the best game wise yeah, yeah the 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 covenant specific spell for demon hunters isn't that great yeah because i feel like that would have been definitely like a class lore focus um but yeah it was funny because i wanted to go necrolords when based purely on the lore. the looks yeah absolutely um and then i saw kyrian and got to play with the kyrian um mm. <laughs> we could play with the kyrian <laughs> covenant spell there and it's go. so much fun like it's so well done. Like, I just got it too on my character. I think. It's yeah. Like the little... Yeah. It slowly doles out both of the spells to you oh, through the you campaign. There's fun. two. Yeah. One's like an active ability, and the other is kind of more passive okay. ability that helps you. Very cool. It's Kyrian. We get a little steward who comes, and we can sell items to them or respec. What's that thing in Rick and Morty? Is that the thing that we played the game with? It's um the Mr. Bot? Meepsies. Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Meepsies. Meepsies. That's all I think of when I see the owls now. Mr. Oh Meepsies, gosh. because oh they gosh. all their only goal in life is to serve us. I'm like, that's kind of a sad. I mean, thing. it's true. I'm not wrong, right? No, you're not wrong. <laughs> and I don't like Rick and Morty. I will say that. So I just know that those characters are like. It's okay. I forgive you. <sighs> you better. I will. Okay. Um. <laughs> but I, I think that's basically it for, for WoW, WoW, regular WoW, regular WoW. And there'll be WoW. more storyline coming out next week. I, I, uh, this week. This yeah. week? This week, I believe. <gasps> we unlock the next uh, chapter of our Covenant storyline. I don't know what I'm picking. I'm on my yeah. mage right now. I don't know. Like I'm going to play through them all. I'm well, we, we could go to that website and look up I, what's no, the highest performing. I will not be a statistic. <laughs> I'm going with my feelings. Um, that's how I want to play. 
<laughs> uh, Rita Owl, as it's referred to, is not the only uh, World of Warcraft that is getting new, new or new quote unquote content. As Naxxramas was released, and the first guild to clear it cleared it in one and a half hours, which was a lot faster than I thought it would be. But um, I did watch a video kind of on the background of uh, the progression of Naxxramas so far. And the guilt that did that absolutely min-maxed everything out of it. They swapped out characters and classes for almost every boss fight to wow. absolutely maximize their potential. And I, they did mention that the guild that cleared it first has practiced a lot on private servers oh, uh, previous wow. to this. So they have years and years of practice playing together as a team and playing against these, these bosses. Well, don't Before. you have years and years of practice playing in World of Warcraft? I'm just teasing. I do, but Not I didn't that. get very far in Next in, in vanilla. You didn't do a speedrun of it, basically. No. Um, is this like a new version of speedruns? It kind of is. The, yeah. You know, the guilds have been trying to one-up each other in, fast, in how fast they can clear stuff. We should do... What's the company that does the speedruns? Game Sun Quick. They should do one of World of Warcraft Classic. I, I think that would be interesting. That'd be they, so cool. They do, they've done a lot of other Blizzard games mm-hmm. before. so Why not WoW well, Classic? I don't know. That'd be great. Someone needs to reach out to them about yeah. that. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, this is actually the first raid in WoW Classic that has been on the on what we would call the correct patch, um, I would say. Because all the other raids were on basically this next Rambus patch with all of the itemization and class changes up to that point. So they were a lot easier than the way they were originally designed. And so that's why the past, all the pe- previous raids have been, have felt relatively easy because they're just there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea to add to I this. Know. But yeah, yeah. The, the rate uh, which guilds are clearing Nax is significantly lower than EQ40, which mm-hmm. I find fascinating. And to put this into perspective on how far we've kind of come with our knowledge of World of Warcraft. Tell me more, Jim. <laughs> uh, back in vanilla, Nax was, re- was released on June 20th, 2006 in Nihilum, which was the world first. Down Kelth is out on September 9th, 2006. That's two and a half months oh, of progress in next round that, that they had to go to through. Hurt. <laughs> oh my god. That's but, but, horrible. But to put this in in framework, okay. there was no PTR for next round at all. Everyone so was, was going in new. completely blind, True. knowing none of the fights at all. Okay. So, so you think everyone you could, had to figure it out on their own. So you could compare this to like what's going to happen on December 15th in a way, but they've practiced on the PTR. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not even fresh there. There was no PTR with next Ramos, Was there? There wasn't, there was a PTR for Blackwing layer though, okay. back in the day. So that's crazy. I would yeah. love to see what it would be like to have them learn. Well, have we had that recently? Like literally no PTR, no nothing. They to tend learn? to do it on the end bosses. Um, like those, the like, absolute last down. bosses mm-hmm. tend to not have a whole lot of PTR testing or like, or they'll maybe do like parts of the fight and leave um, like a secret section um, mm-hmm. available for the live game. I mean, that's kind of what was interesting about the, the Nazoth world race is players didn't know about the secret phase that sends you into the heart of Azeroth, the, the chamber oh, there. I, uh, that was a, a mythic, that, that was a mythic only part of the fight so secret yeah okay interesting that's crazy yeah no two and a half months versus an hour and a half (laughs) yeah oh the the difference of the difference of knowing what you need to do versus figuring out on your own my day it took two months to get a raid exactly (laughs) now it's an hour and a half oh my gosh okay wower no i'm not even gonna bother with that joke (laughs) oh my gosh all right wow boomer Wow, boomer! Oh my gosh! Uh, you know what? I will happily wear that. That should be, that should be like a patch or a pin. A wow, boomer! Oh, it should. Yes, because we're old now. Yeah, we should embrace being yes. old. Wow, yes. boomers! I love it. Yeah, we should do like a hashtag. Yes, we should. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my it. gosh! Anyway, hashtag wow, boomer. Um, that's the end of 
World of Warcraft news. And mm-hmm. oh my gosh, we're already 45 minutes into this episode. It's lots of um, fun stuff to talk it about. It is a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Overwatch had some kind of fun community stuff this week with mm-hmm. um, Fran, who is a prominent community member in the Overwatch community and streamer for the Atlanta Rain. Yes. Um, Fran is Fran. the name. Yeah, she's awesome. I've okay. watched her stream a few times. She's a lot of fun. Uh, but she did put together this tournament, which was hosted um, by Monkey Bubble and sponsored by our friends over at Leyline. Leyline. Um, make sure to check out that episode if you haven't yet. And their GoFundMe. And their GoFundMe, yeah. They still need some help to raise yeah. that money to save the world. But yeah, it was a lot of um, amateur teams and amateur players mm-hmm. um, playing for a $4,000 prize pool. And American Tornado came out on top, winning 2400 yeah. bucks. So that's not bad. That's good Christmas money, right? It's, it's good for a day of, of work, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exciting. No, but yeah, check out the vods if you're itching for some wow, Overwatch competitive, competitive oh content right now. Overwatch uh, in the off season of Overwatch League. Uh, but with the Overwatch League off season here, um, we do have some um, acquisitions from teams and. My LA Valiant, Boo. we re-signed back again Agilities, who is one of the best DPS players in the game. So I'm very excited to see him come back to LA, see how he'll do. Gladiators will win. Gladiators look good, though. Heck yes, they do in that purple. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about Valiant. They don't have their full roster yet, but... Did they do really bad last year? No, they did pretty good. Okay. They, it was, there was they, a run of like they no. exceeded expectations. Okay, you got really excited <laughs> with that sentence. <laughs> they made it to the playoffs, and they, okay. I think they got like fifth place, if I remember correctly. They they made a deep run. Did Gladiators beat them? Gladiators didn't make the playoffs. Shut up. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to more stories in Just Overwatch, how, which I pay attention to. This. Um, oh yeah, this is the, this is the feel good story of the week. I would say. Oh man, feels... or one of the feel good stories of the week. Um, if you watch the Overwatch League Grand Finals and watch the the uh, closing ceremony of it, um, when Striker was uh, given the MVP of the finals and hundred thousand dollars, he said he would get his fa- buy his father a car. And San Francisco Shock today p- pointed out that he's true to his word and did <gasps> buy his dad a car Aww. recently. So. He that's awesome to see. Is that a Hyundai? Yeah. Uh, oh. Hyundai, yeah. Aww. And it's awesome to see that. And um, San Francisco Shock tweeted this out. So it was really nice to see them um, show that off. That's nice of them. Yeah. That is sweet. Yeah. Buy my dad a car. He's a car. <laughs> I know. That would be awesome. <laughs> buy myself a car. Buy right? something huge for, yeah, for right? someone. Uh, but yeah. That's cool. Good for them. But yeah. I mean, that's kind of the Overwatch League. Uh, Overwatch news, news in general, uh, pretty light there right now. We should be getting news for the winter event soon. Oh, TM. Yeah, skins. Um, I'm really curious to see what they would do for skins there. That'd be fun. I feel like Diva. Diva's due for a winter skin. She Diva has, has a she lot has, of skins. She has a lot of skins, but she doesn't have a winter skin. Oh. So I would like to see that. Why not? Yeah. Uh, but moving on to StarCraft, uh, there is a little bit of StarCraft news as the uh, GSL Super Tournament 2 is currently underway. Um, I actually caught a little bit of this last night. I was about to go to bed, hopped on the YouTube and saw it was yeah. live. And so, that was I, the first mistake. of course, I uh, did not go to bed. We checked it out. And yeah, we're in the top four right now. Um, so if you're looking for some high level StarCraft action, definitely check it out. Our good friends, Tastes and Artosis casting. Oh, man. They, are, no they are amazing. Like, they. They fill time like no other with oh, the, yeah. just the most random stuff, and it always makes me smile, makes me oh, yeah. laugh. It's, it's that's one of my fantastic. favorite things with StarCraft was having the casters just go on tangents, and you you almost watch. I'm I would just watch for the tangents versus the gameplay. And you oh guys yeah, would freak out my brother, and you would freak out with the gameplay, and it was it was more of just like hanging with your friends, like at a land party, almost just talking, talking yeah. whatever. Um, and I'm happy to report that hmm. all three races are represented in the top four, which is no. good. Really? That like, never happens. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, but no. I'm happy to see it. So, so which one? Which one right now? If you were to say is the strongest race? 
Um, in your unprofessional, but yeah, in my unprofessional opinion, of, of watching StarCraft here and there, yeah. probably Protoss. They mm-hmm. just biased. they're the most. I'm I'm biased, Completely. and they're also the most cost efficient race out there mm-hmm. um, in terms of minerals and gas you spend on units to the damage that they do. Cool. So, I will not argue that. Yeah. <laughs> Good old StarCraft. But good old StarCraft still going on to and ask kicking the question. on and streaming. Um, Hearthstone, though. We did actually have some pretty interesting Hearthstone news. Oh, Hearthstone. Um, because the rewards that they came out with um, in the most recent patch, um, to put it mildly, was not met with the most positive response from the community. Really? Uh, yeah, they had gamed it out that it was... Not nearly as um, efficient as the old method of um, dailies in getting three wins to get 10 gold. So Blizzard oh. has responded um, with what they're going to be doing going forward um, with a huge list of changes they are making to the, um, the, the rewards track system. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to remove uh, weekly quests that require legendary cards and arena runs. That seems fair. That helps a lot, I think, from pigeonholing players into playing stuff they don't want to. Yeah. Especially arena. I know a lot of people will just completely avoid arena because it's, can't compete. It's, it's a crapshoot, to put it lightly. Yeah. Um, and then they're changing the weekly quest for win seven games of ranked play mode to win five games of ranked play mode. That just seems like a very no-brainer adjustment to make there. Yeah, less difficulty. And on that note about um, kind of allowing players to play what they want to play, Tavern Brawls and Battlegrounds will now contribute to quest progress. It didn't. I know that has been a complaint for months. People love Battlegrounds. Since Battlegrounds has come out, so that'll be good. Yeah. Um, they're making small tweaks to certain quests. They didn't really specify too much um, about what they're doing. Uh, just an example was like, Instead of play 50 corrupt cards, it would be like play 30. So just lowering the quality quotas. of life changes all around. Yeah. Um, and all 800 X daily, 800 XP daily quests will now reward 900. So yeah. just a little bit more. Um, and they're reducing the amount of XP needed to reach certain levels in the reward track. Um, <laughs> and also adding more gold to certain levels of the reward track. So, so just more all around. Hopefully it is more all around. Will that that's, affect that's inflation? What, so. I'm no, because there's no <laughs> in-game economy for for it. it's only pertaining to you buying packs and stuff like that. Gotcha. Um, and they're hoping to provide s- steadier gold income. When did this come out? Like when did this uh, uh, update come out? This response, uh, response came out uh, on the seventh. Okay. So a couple days ago. Okay. Hopefully, that appeases the fan base. I, I hope that, I hope that does loyal. a little bit because they were they were not happy from what I was oh, reading. Man. Um, online. Yeah, and it's supposed to be a fun game. Don't make it grueling. Yeah. Next uh, update. On the yeah, in the next update, we talked about this, I think, last week or the week before, but Hearthstone uh, World Championship is happening this weekend, December 12th and 13th. Fun. So definitely make sure to check that out. Um, you can also get lots uh, of money. choose your champion if you want to go to the Hearthstone website. Um, choose the T-Mobile champion. Um, That's oh, my look, cell phone company. You get, yeah, you get an extra oh, pack. I'm going to do it. So you How earn card this? packs as they march towards victory. So you just go to this w- the website, playhearthstone.com, uh-huh. go to the World Championship page, and click on it. And, and I get an extra game pack in and game? You, you choose who you think will win or who you Jenna? want to win. No, you choose... Uh, oh, the, the, play, the, the player, players? The player. Oh, the peoples. Yeah. The real life peoples. Okay. So you select who you want to win. Mm, I got to go American. No, I'm going to go American. Yeah. Now, there's a very interesting story, or, or heartwarming story, I guess I should say, with this player, which we'll get to in just a minute. Okay. I don't know. Um, I don't think I know. But yeah, you you I select your them. camera. I selected uh, Bloody Face here. Cool. And as they win their games, um, you get uh, card packs. Oh, it's like, it's like, um, oh, there's a thing that does this. Yeah. In video games. Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. At me. fantasy football right you get like prizes if you get points if your players win like basically yeah and so i get prizes in hearthstone if they win <laughs> yes. i'm saying that wrong aren't i yes it's fine though. Hearthstone, whatever. um 
Okay. So now, heartwarming what? story about Bloody Face. What yeah. happened? What's up? So, Bloody Face is a player oh, who's Danny. been a very prominent figure in the North American scene. Um, she actually oh. just recently came out as transgender. She's cute. With a very long, uh, well, uh, decently long tw- longer post um, oh, wow. explaining the background on why she decided to come out now and uh, everything in the background on what came to that decision on how to come out and yeah. all that stuff. and. It's a very touching story, especially, I, I think the, the the thing I always look at, especially with esports stories, is just to see how their family supports them. Yeah. Um, and she did say that her family does support her for, Good. for this. So, I saw yeah. the social media stuff on that. Good for her. Yeah. No, and she's going uh, by the name Luna, after Luna Lovegood. Oh, dude, from I love Harry me some Potter. Luna references. So, Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. And she has a cat in her profile picture on Twitter, so I love her even more. And she has a cute little hair braid there. That's adorable. Yeah. Awesome. Good for her. So, yeah. That's really cool. And she just came out like announcing two that. days ago. Yeah, Amazing. December 6th. Amazing. So, we'll be rooting for you, Luna. Wait, so she, wait she's American? She's American. American. <gasps> she's the North American representative at the Hearthstone oh, Masters man. Championship. Double awesomeness. So, of course, I'm going to cheer for her. Good luck. Oh, man, please win. I want to win stuff. <laughs> Yeah, Help me win stuff. That, that was me that was one thing she said in her tweet longer was she um, would like to be the first transgender Hearthstone player to win, <gasps> oh, which well, did, would be incredible. Did a female player we had a, win at a BlizzCon? Woman, a woman won uh, BlizzCon last yeah. year. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, so Beyonce was right. Yeah, so we're taking over the world. Okay, <laughs> who run the world? <laughs> I don't know the song. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. It's uh, too late right now. <laughs> it is too late. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for gaming news. Yeah. All, all the other series have been relatively quiet. They have their patches going and stuff. Like Hogger and uh, Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. I still haven't checked that out. I need to, though. I did update Heroes of the Storm on my computer. Oh, that good. did happen. When I did log into WoW this one time this week. But um, let's get to your favorite segment. Buying stuff. Um, IRL <laughs> loot. Okay. So um, I, I've kind of figured out that, you know, since we're doing the podcast week by week, we don't need to do, you know, there's not going to be launches of new material or new lines of stuff every week. So I decided to try to do this idea of like a fan or community based merch. Um, I will always focus on the Blizzard branded stuff because I love to give Blizzard my money. Um, but there's a lot of fan base and community stuff that comes out. And um, highlighting them here and there will definitely fill my uh, window shopping need uh, <laughs> yeah. to want to throw money or even actually throw money at these people. Uh, and the one that popped up this week was Carbots. And I wish you had like, the little animation of like beep, beep, like the honking. Yeah. That's all I hear. And then I hear people every time, yeah. that drive by and I hear that and I just think automatically to his animation. <laughs> that's it's awesome. Awful and great. Like, I think that's a ringtone. Um, but close to that, he just launched a uh, carbotsanimations.com. They have merch and they use Teespring and he has a bunch of different uh, t-shirts. Like they have the Warcraft factions um, or fraction, no factions, Diablo character ensemble, Marine Academy, which is the Starcraft uh, genre. They have some more Starcraft with the Zerglings. The Swarmlings. Mm-hmm. I love the GG logo. The GG one's really good. Really, really cool. He has socks. He has a hoodie, a pullover hoodie, um, phone cases. And the one thing we did notice, both in the bottom of it, is he's actually selling for $2 audio packs. So if you click it, I think there's like four different audio clips he will send to you. Or they'll get sent to you right away when you make that digital purchase. And it's Mr. Carbot saying, hey, it's me. It's your best friend. Um, you can use it as a ringtone, alarm, whatever you want. So I thought that was really, really cool. Because for two bucks, you get clips of your favorite. Yeah. Uh, no, he's, he's super funny. So Yeah. And Blizzard's used his stuff before. He has a StarCraft thing, doesn't he? He has a whole like map and everything like that. Oh, yeah. He has a whole mod in uh, StarCraft Remastered that mm-hmm. looks like... Amazing. Exactly like his artwork. The cartoon. So... Um, so yeah, if you, and also for this, he just launched it. And I think that's where I saw the ad of it. Uh, Carbots 20 gets you 20% off at checkout. So it's Carbot, C-A-R-B-O-T, C-A-R-B-O-T two Car- zero. Carbot, yeah. not Carbots. Um, but yeah, get some t-shirts. I definitely would love to like, I want to get some of the Swarmlings. I want that GG t-shirt. The GG one is really good. I think I need to I really like that. I can wear that to like any Blizzard event and people will know what it means. And <laughs> I've had students say GG. And I'm like, you don't even know the origins of that, guys. You I know. know you don't even know where that came from. 
Uh, exactly. So <laughs> that's a it's a community based purchasing thing. Um, next part is I, I looked up the typical shops of like Hot Topic or Box Lunch. Um, nothing new because I think they're just trying to you know get through a lot of their um, old merch of Overwatch things. Um, if you do want to get some of those spray t-shirts, they offer them at both websites. So if you have any, uh, hot cash or box lunch dollars, whatever they sell them as, um, they usually have a weekly sale or a two week sale of like 20 or 30% off right now this week, it's 30% off online. So if you want to get some of those spray t-shirts, hop on there, check for an email of a coupon code or use honey because they definitely want to get through, um, a lot of their merch uh, for the end of the year. Uh, let's see, Loungefly, nothing new. They did sell out of the Widowmaker wallet. I did check that, so there's only five mm-hmm. things now left on Loungefly. Um, I'm hoping there's a new, like, bag series for Blizzard. I feel like there's got to be something Please. coming. Make there be a bag series. I want like, <laughs> either Jujube or Loungefly. I don't care, but I want more bags. Um, I don't care who. Just give me something. <laughs> give me more. Uh, now, the next one is the Ult uh, Esports. Uh, so we, we highlighted them last week. Still coming soon is the Overwatch League. I'm going to be checking weekly for that. I love that art design um, of Tracer. The ex- they call it the Expressionist Tracer series. Mm-hmm. I just love how it's like Overwatch League and all like the cool character graphics. And then the pretty, pretty like spray painting. Like, yeah, spray paint. Like Tracer and artwork moving. Um, that's still coming soon. Hopefully soon, though. I'd love to definitely get that. Um, in all the different styles, like t-shirts, long sleeves, you name it. Mm-hmm. Um, next one for Jinx. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I missed this last week or it says it's new, but it's new to me at the very least. They have two pullover hoodies for $60. One's Alliance. And it kind of reminds me of like Star Trek. How you have like the yellow shirt the black kinda, yeah. and like the, the upper color block. Um, so for Alliance, it's like a goldish yellow, uh, with the symbol of the, the, the the lion's crest. I was going to say lizard. The, <laughs> <laughs> the lion's crest on the uh, left corner. And then a simple pouch pocket or kangaroo pocket for the hoodie um, with gold trim on the side of that. And that's $60 from small to 2XL. And then they have the horde version, uh, that gorgeous black and red. Darn you, horde. Um, <laughs> red's like my favorite color. Uh, blizzard hoodie. Um yeah, for Alliance and Horde, sixty dollars. You know, Jinx had to use are really good, really warm. Um, no coupon codes I could see right now, but it's new to me. Um, or at least I didn't see it last week. Mm-hmm. And then for the Overwatch front, they're trying to get rid of all, once again all that Overwatch merch. Uh, it definitely, you know, they're going to come out with a ton of cool stuff for Overwatch too this coming year. I know it's happening. But Overwatch and uh, not Overwatch. Uh, Jinx did a bundle, but this time it's not a mystery bundle. You can actually see what's in the bags. So they have a cheap $20 one of a hat, socks, wallet, a fold wallet, and one keychain bundle, um, or a bunch of charm bundle, uh, little loot boxes, um, to a $50 backpack with like a, a car decal, wallet, hat, or you go for the ultimate loot box, which has another backpack, a scarf it looks like, and all the other little trash keys that comes with it. So you can definitely see which type of bundle you're buying, especially if you have some stocking, stocking, stocking stuffers in mind. I speak words. Um, definitely check them out because at least you now know what you're getting from it. And, you know, $20, $60, you can easily sprinkle that to your young adults in your life. Mm-hmm. Um, so Blizzard Gear Store, we're scooching over to you. Um, I didn't see anything new in terms of lines kind of like how we had a lot of the um that professional sport clothing like polo t-shirts up the wazoo uh this one is actually i'm going to focus on the clearance section of world of war or the blizzard gear store and there's almost one for every franchise um and we'll go by by each game but if you go to the clearance section you're not able to i know um you're not able to use the coupon codes i know i was sad that one too We'll start with that one. Uh, so the first thing on the coupon co- or on the clearance section was the Sombra Gray Overwatch Full Snap Overcoat. It's basically like a rain jacket. And we saw this in person, but not in our size. And it's normally $100. 
which is it's worth the quality of a hundred dollars. It is like a nice raincoat. It has a cool sombra effect on mm-hmm. the on the front and purple lining and zipper. Oh, I love the it. The lining is so good. <sighs> so I love that. Um, and you can get it for fifty bucks. Uh, it only has a few sizes left, so definitely hop in there as soon as you can. Um, scooch in the next one is the Horde Red and Gray Track Jacket Zipper Up Zip Up. Um, I don't think there's pockets on that one. Is there pockets? It doesn't look like there's it. There's no pockets in that. It almost looks like 70s or 80s retro, like mm-hmm. with that whole like chevron look of color. Um, was $60, now $34. Uh, next one we have is the Alliance Wow Backpack. It's the Gamer Everyday Utility Backpack, but I will say this. There is no water bottle pocket, so I don't like it. <laughs> I'm so critical on backpacks and I had to have a pocket for my water bottle to pull it out like at conventions or whatever. Yeah. This one does not have it. It makes me sad. Um however, if you go to the back picture on the bottom there, uh it has a gorgeous alliance like stitching. Uh, stitching. Yeah. As, I know words. Uh stitching um the back of the backpack which is just pretty. Um and that's $50, normally 85. So if you really like that backpack without the water bottle pocket, totally hop over and get there. Uh, next one is the Overwatch Army button down jacket. This one was eight seventy eight dollars. Now forty three. This is similar to the Starcraft two one I have. I feel like it is. Yeah, and it's like a lightweight, comfortable jacket. It's almost like a t shirt, but um, if, like for SoCal especially, you just want like an extra layer. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Would you want this for Christmas? Maybe. Maybe. I'll add that to my list. <laughs> um, yeah, it has like an Overwatch pack, uh, uh, patch I, on the side. I might want what's next more, though. Oh, okay. Well, let's take a look. Next one we have is the Brigitte zip-up hoodie. This, or not Brigitte. What is it, Jimmy? Brigitte. 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 I like Brigitte. Baguette. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this is an Overwatch hoodie. This is a Jinx hoodie. That they're selling at the Blizzard Gear Store. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but they well, have we, all we the both sizes. have the Moria one. Yes, and I have Sombra. And you have Sombra mm-hmm. as well. It's really nice and comfy. It is. And there, it's a nice thick... Um, cotton? Yeah. Cotton, polyester, uh, jacket, hoodie. Um, brown, gold. And it has from small to 4XL. So I think they just had a huge stock of this. Yeah, they must have they a lot have of these. found or something like that. Uh, can you scroll down to the bottom? Is there? Oh, there's no back artwork? Okay. No. Uh, but it has like her beautiful little profile picture spray on the front left corner. Um, no, it's, it's really interesting. They have like all the sizes for that one. Uh, See so next to the... Well, you have to go back to the main page. I don't know where you, you went all the place. Uh, okay. Next is the Overwatch character mouse. Just do a next tab. Um... This one is a Razer mouse. And I remember seeing this at BlizzCon, I think a year or two ago when it was announced. I loved it so much for the looks, <laughs> but it did not have the side thumb buttons and I did not buy it. Yeah. That made I, me sad. I have to have those. Yeah. You gotta have like some side buttons or something, yeah. or even like a center button underneath the scroll wheel. Mm-hmm. This one does not have that. So it made me a little sad. It's a very basic mouse. It's a Razer Abyss. Is that what it's called? Uh, Abyss, 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 um, but it is a really cool diva looking mouse. So if you have like a young person, especially that what's a gaming mouse that looks like diva, I do have the mouse pad of this and it's glorious and I use it all the time because pink, blue and a bunny. Why not? Mm-hmm. Um, next one is the hearthstone hearthstone. How do I say it? Hearth, hearthstone hearth, like a heart hearth hearth. Hearthstone pop-up book. This is cool. And I think... I think we saw this at BlizzCon, right? Alex was gifted this to my friend of ours, I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. And we did see this at BlizzCon. Um, if you actually look at our Dark Moon Fair video, we actually stopped by the booth at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, All the, the books pop-up. are there, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's so cool. There's like different... I remember the Hearthstone, Hearthstone ones. Uh, you can pull things up. Like it has like a player deck of like you playing Hearthstone. And there's like cards you can flip over and like little things you can pull and like like uh, fireworks happen in some of the pages so if you really really want a cool pop-up book if you're a big hearthstone fan you haven't gotten the book yet 35 dollars um on clearance right now at the blizzard gear store is a great price for it and then this one's another great one orthia from here is the storm her character sleeveless skater dress is on sale and it's so pretty i might need to get this 
It's gorgeous. I like, like it. I don't, I don't wear a lot of dresses, but it's just so cool. Like, it looks like her actual dress, which is amazing. Uh, 40 bucks. Normally, it's $70 from small to 2XL. Um, you could just wear this, like, with a jacket or whatever, oh, yeah. or just as is for the summer. Um, but it just, it's like a, it's a skater dress, but it looks fancy because it has, like, a little printed corset on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, 80% polyester. Of course, stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Um, and then I think, oh, this last one is not necessarily on the clearance page, but it is on the Blizzard gear section. So this is like the BlizzCon stuff mm-hmm. that they had extras of. And this one I saw, you can actually use the coupon code that Blizzard gear puts out or Fanatics puts out like every other day or something it looks like. Um, but wait for that coupon sale, whatever it is of the day Mm -hmm. um right now it's mission i think that was last week i swear it was last week um but use that code it ends in 20 hours i know but i feel like we go back in the video i think it was mission or something like that it might have been it was really something they just cycle through the same names i'm sure but this one is the series six pins so we scooch down a bit uh the series six pins this is not this year's but last year's i believe right Yeah. yeah yeah so this one, you can actually use the coupon code to purchase it. Mm-hmm. So instead of it being $80, it's $60 with whatever coupon code they have. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. Um, oh, slightly, a, a bit of a tangent, though. But, um, as, as far as the pins, um, there's a Blizzard trading group I'm part of on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And someone noticed that you can't get the Series 7 pins anymore. And some people are thinking they're holding on to a bunch of that stock for BlizzCon Online. Yes, you can. Yeah, I'll show you right now. Okay. Click the collectibles talk on the website. I was just looking at it right there. You can buy the series collectible seven pin set. Oh, the pin set. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that changed since. Okay. Maybe. I, don't know. <laughs> I was like, I just looked at this. Okay, go back to my thing though. Of course. Go back to my <laughs> website. Um, but this one, yeah, for sixty dollars, you get. Go back to the image, please. You get all the characters of last year's pins in a pretty box. All the enameled color ones. So if you still want to get the gold or the silver ones, which, you know, you do you. Um, what is I that this. one? That one, I don't know who that is. Is that Arthas? I don't know what that is. It's like this. Uh... I, don't, I don't know. And we I can't, can't zoom in on it either, which is a little fresh. Or can you do a new tab? I don't know what that is. It looks like, <laughs> a, it looks like a, a mech, like Evangelion style. Yeah, it has, it has the mechanome. It has, and I think the one I really missed out in getting was um, Orissa. Did I say her name? No, oh, the girl from her was in the storm. The one with the dress. No, Orphea. Orphea. That's the one I want. I have Orissa. To be fair, they both have O names. Thank you. <laughs> I do have Orissa, but I wanted Orphea. Yeah. I wanted her as a pin. I didn't get her. So if you want to collect the pins or have in a pretty box set, use a coupon code to get it there because that is a great deal. And you don't have to worry about collecting them or trading them or anything mm-hmm. like that. So um, I think that is all my Ireal. Ireal? Ireal. loot. <laughs> it is past midnight. It is. It has been just over an hour, so that's not too yeah, terrible. Yeah, a little over an hour. Yeah. So long, longer episode, but we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of news to cover, especially with World of Warcraft. And we got to talk about like a lot of stuff, too. Like, yeah. Because we're both playing it. Like, we're I'm both actually doing playing a lot of it. Stuff. Yeah. A little bit. More than two hours. But yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks to everyone for tuning in uh, to the Nexus Podcast with Heather and Jimmy. Mm-hmm. You can always find previous episodes on nexuspodcast.com, uh, which is available on all the major platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast, Stitcher, and TuneIn, and all the other good ones out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure to check us out, uh, hashtag Nexus Podcast on Twitter and Instagram to follow the conversation as well as old video episodes if you want to see our faces on youtube.com slash DJ Tyrant. I have a playlist specifically for Nexus Podcast if you'd like to go through I old made a episodes. link tree. And like she made a link tree on so her all her social it. media um, to find all our links. Um, you can find me, uh, DJ Tyrant, everywhere. I'm in front of her. And in all of our profiles, we have our link trees to everything that you could yes. ever want to find about, about Nexus true. Podcast. We should call it like a vodcast at this point. I've heard that term. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. I don't know. We have to, we have to change names maybe. Uh-oh. Yeah. That would we'll, get complicated. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> this is the Nexus Vodcast. <laughs> Sign up for episode 20. Thank you guys so much for your support. And we'll see you. See, 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 see.
real soon. Stay tight. Yay!